I'm diving into a topic that affects many patients after cataract surgery, something called posterior capsular opacification, or PCO for short. This condition can cause changes in your vision that may remind you of the original cataract symptoms. Today, I'll explore what PCO is, why it happens, and what can be done to treat it. So what exactly is a PCO, or posterior capsular opacification? A PCO occurs after cataract surgery when the posterior capsule of the eye, which holds the lens of the eye, becomes cloudy due to the proliferation of lens epithelial cells left behind after cataract surgery. These cells grow over the back of the capsule, which can significantly affect your vision by creating a frosted glass effect, similar to what you may have experienced with your cataracts in the first place. So what is the process of PCO development? To understand PCO better, it's crucial to look at the cellular level. During cataract surgery, the natural lens is removed to eliminate the cataract. However, some lens epithelial cells remain on the capsule. These cells are supposed to remain clear, but sometimes they begin to proliferate and migrate across the capsule, leading to cloudiness. The rate at which this happens can vary greatly among many individuals, and it's influenced by factors such as the type of interocular lens that was implanted in your eye, the surgical technique, and other individual issues like your individual healing response. What other factors contribute to PCO? Well, age and surgical techniques significantly influence the likelihood of developing PCO. Younger patients tend to have a higher risk because their cells are more active and likely to proliferate over time. Additionally, the design and material of the intraocular lens itself can affect cell growth. Certain designs may inhibit cell growth more effectively than others. Statistically speaking, PCO is quite common, occurring in 20 to 50 percent of patients within two to five years following cataract surgery. This frequency makes it one of the most common post-operative complications of cataract surgery. But rest assured, there is treatment. YAG laser capsulotomy is the standard treatment for PCO, and this is a simple effective laser procedure that can be done on an outpatient basis, and it's a laser that's used to create a small opening in the clouded capsule. This opening allows light to pass through directly, instantly improving vision. The procedure is quick, usually painless, and has a high success rate. The YAG laser capsulotomy procedure requires no incisions and is performed under local anesthesia. Patients can expect immediate results and the risk of complications is minimal. However, like any medical procedure, there are risks of increased eye pressure or even retinal attachment, but these complications are rare. Preventative measures during cataract surgery can reduce the likelihood of PCO. Surgeons may choose specific types of interocular lenses and use surgical techniques designed to minimize the stimulation of residual lens epithelial cells. After a YAG laser capsulotomy, patients generally recover very quickly. It's important to follow up your eye doctor to ensure the success of the procedure and to monitor for any potential complications from the laser itself. Regular checkups help maintain the health of your eyes and ensure lasting clear vision. So while PCO is a common side effect of cataract surgery, it's fortunately very treatable with today's medical advances. Understanding the signs and discussing your options with your eye surgeon can help manage the condition effectively. Thank you for joining me today to learn about posterior capsular opacification and YAG laser capsulotomy. If you've had cataract surgery and are experienced changes in your vision, reach out to your eye care provider to discuss whether PCO could be affecting your eyesight. Take a look at the video up here where I discuss cataract surgery in much more detail. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you found its information helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more updates and discussions on eye health. Remember, taking care of your eyes is crucial for maintaining your vision and overall quality of health. Stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.